getting the dog to understand the stay command with a little bit more action, such as a, uh, a toy, is going to change the dynamic of the exercise. So, wait, Goofy, come here. Good, what you got? Oh, good boy. Good, good. Oh, good boy. So here, I'll give, you, give us an example or an ability to teach the dog and see him probably make a tiny mistake. So, good, good. Oh, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, good. Down, out. So if I say here, great example, this would be a distraction for him. Sit. Good. And I'm going to tell him, good sit, and I'm going to throw the toy. Good. He didn't break. But again, watch, because I have the line on him. So here, I tell him, good sit. Sit, and I'll throw the toy. And again, he doesn't break. Which is exactly what we'd expect. So here, sit. Now I'll put a little bit more action into it and he'll probably break. I'll use a little bit of less, less line and you'll see here, good sit. No. Correction. Come on. Sit. Good. No. So now watch, I'll go get the toy. And by teaching him that sit means to stay, he's going to have to just understand, good sit, and I'll do the exact same exercise again. Sit. And he learns. There. Now he's looking at the toy. He looks at me. Good boy. Yes. He can go get the toy. Good. The, the correction is not a punishment because the correction is something he does to himself and learns that by doing it properly and by holding that sit and that stay, that he does get the reward. So real simple. When you teach your dog this exercise in the beginning, you can use very, very short distances. So here, sit, down, good, out, down, good, down. And it can be down, it can be sit, doesn't matter. But I throw the toy, good boy. I bring the toy again. I may do it two or three times. Good, down, good, down. And then again, down, good boy. And I come up to him, yes. A tap on the head is what I consider a tactile release. So, in the beginning, once again, we'll readdress this. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good. Good. Down. Out. Good. We use simple thing like a tug on a leash. But before we do that, we'll teach him good down, the command, the sit, the down, whatever the word is, we teach him that word. And as soon as we want them done, we tap and we release with a, with a release command, which would be yes. Then I'll put a little bit of pressure on them. Good, down, good, down. Tiny bit of pressure, then tactile, yes. And he gets the reward. Don't teach your dog the stay command, one, by using a way he'll fail. So a way a dog will fail is to put him on no leash, no line, and tell him, sit, stay, and he breaks and runs. And then you get upset and chase him and bring him back, sit, stay, and he runs. This can't involve any emotion. This can only involve the dog understanding what he's learning. So in other words, if I'm telling my dog to sit and I throw something and he runs and chases after it and he reaches the end of the line and gets a slight correction on, on his collar, he's gonna realize there was something wrong. Something didn't match up the way it was supposed to. And for him to understand that is the way he's going to learn how to better reward himself, right? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, good boy.